everyone, welcome back to our channel Love Our Home Zoo. We are the animals, wildlife and nature lovers. And today we're going to introduce you to a very special member. Meet our raccoon. Raccoon. You are not going to believe who had a pet raccoon. Watch till the end and I will tell you. Don't go away. This is the person who requested the raccoons. Thank you. I love raccoons too. Raccoons are medium-sized nocturnal masked mammals. Although there are seven different species of raccoons, the most common and the most well-known is the North American raccoon, native to North America, including Canada, the United States, and South America. Today, they are found in many parts of the world because they have been imported for several reasons throughout history to parts of Europe and Asia, particularly Japan. Raccoons' natural habitats include forest, marshes, prairies, and tropical areas. But raccoons are adaptable enough to thrive in rural, urban, and suburban environments. As humans' populations spread and cities grew, the raccoons' natural environments were destroyed. Raccoons are instinctively curious and were able to adapt and thrive in cities. They are now part of the local wildlife in many places. They do well in cities because of the abundance of food. Toronto, Canada has one of the biggest city raccoon populations. They are round furry mammals with a brown grayish dense coat and a long ringed bushy tail. They measure between 2 to 3 feet and weigh 4 to 23 pounds. Their hind legs are longer than the front legs so they appear hunched when walking or running. The raccoon's most well-known feature is the black coloring around their eyes that has earned them the nickname of Masked Bandit. These cute, not-so-friendly creatures are not actually trying to appear in disguise. Scientists believe that the dark around their eyes is to reduce glare and help them see better. This is similar to the tracks underneath the panda's eyes, the red panda's eyes. At one point, these two animals were believed to be closely related because of their physical similarities. Take a look at our red panda's video to learn more about them. They are also known for stealing food and rummaging through thrash, scavenging for anything to eat. They are opportunistic omnivores and eat pretty much anything they can get their paws on. They eat plants, berries, fruits, nuts, bugs, insects, crayfish, fish, frogs, rodents, bird, bird eggs, and any food they can steal from humans. They have amazing dexterous front paws with five long fingers in each paw. Similar to humans, they are able to open doors, jars, locks, and trash cans. This gives them an amazing ability to find food and thrive in any environment. Their front paws are extremely sensitive to touch, and even more so in water. That is why raccoons are often seen dipping their food in the water. So, some believe they are washing their food, but they are most likely doing it to better sense what they are about to eat. The raccoon could climb down head first just like Fusas and Red Pandas. That's right, because they can rotate their ankles 180 degrees. Right? Yes. Raccoons in the wild find caves, eaves, hollow trees, old burrows to live in. Yes, and they call them dens. In cities and urban environments, they look for anything that can give them comfort and safety, such as attics, in between walls, abandoned buildings, or any other cozy secret location that they can find. They are primarily nocturnal, but will come out of their dens during the day if they need more food. Also, while they are not actually sleeping, they do hibernate during the winter. They ensure to store enough fat to be able to survive the winter without having to come out of their dens to look for food. The average lifespan in the wild is pretty short. They live between two to three years, but have lived up to 20 years in captivity. Their natural threats are diseases and predators such as cougars, bobcats, coyotes, and even house dogs. Large owls and eagles prey on their young. In cities, their main threat is car accidents. Several tests performed by scientists revealed that raccoons are very smart animals. They ranked higher than dogs and cats and almost as smart as primates. 
Female raccoons give birth to three to six babies called kits. When first born, the babies are blind and deaf. It can take a month for them to be able to hear and open their eyes. The babies stay with the mother raccoon well protected for about a year. A group of raccoons is called a nursery or gaze. Raccoon can make over 50 different sounds to communicate. They can hiss, purr, and growl. And they are often heard when fighting for food. Raccoons do not make good pets for several reasons. Their behavior can be unpredictable, especially towards humans. They can become aggressive, making them dangerous. But that is not the only problem. They can carry rabies as well as many other horrible diseases. Despite this, raccoons as pets is not unheard of. Perhaps the most bizarre is the White House raccoon pet. Yes, there once was a White House raccoon pet named Rebecca. It was given to President Calvin Coolidge for Thanksgiving in 1926, and it lived in the White House as a pet for a while, and eventually it was donated to the National Zoo. In general, they are listed in the IUCN Red List as least concerned with an increasing population. However, out of the seven species, the pygmy raccoon is currently listed as critically endangered. We hope you enjoyed learning with us. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue to make more videos and continue to learn about all the animals we love so much. We believe the more you know about all the animals, the more you will love them too. Please share this video and join us in raising awareness about our wildlife and check out our blog for tips to become more sustainable and more eco-friendly. It is good for you, our planet, and all wildlife. We will see you next week with a video about the African gray parrot. Yes? Wait, I must tell you something important. The African gray parrot is the smartest parrot in the world.